Here I am at Heathrow Airport, uh, on my way to New York for my collaboration trip. This vlog is to, uh, is to kind of document some of the things I'm going to be doing in New York in the next few days, shed some light over how the collaboration process works and uh, how it all comes together. So that was quick, I'm here. in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. I've rented a loft apartment. I've got two collaborations per day for the next three days. Some are writers, uh, some are artists. <laughs> I've just had one of the most amazing collaborations I've ever had with a guy called Mike G, who is an incredibly well-respected pop writer and a wonderful human being. Uh, we wrote a whole song in four hours. And then that last one, I feel like... Yeah, that's doing the right thing, isn't it? Yeah. He's adding some closure to that verse as well there. So it's saying, this is what's happening, this is where we are. And now this pre-chorus is, it's, it's to kind of, it's to give that shift, that shift in energy. Let's have a little play with it. He was very, very, very on point with the lyrics. And I was kind of melodic and mathematical. I feel on top of the world right now. It's a wonderful song. I worked with an artist yesterday afternoon over at New York University called Jackie Palladino, who's a real up and comer, kind of soul pop. Uh, Amy Winehouse, Adele kind of artist. We didn't get the room that we were supposed to get at NYU, to the writing room. So <laughs> we just set up on the stairwell in the building and wrote a song there. One of those artists that you know you, you listen to on record and you think, oh yeah, wow, she's good, and then you meet her and you hear her and you go, wow, you haven't been recorded properly yet. Today I am off to uh, to Union Square to go and work with a lady called Sarah Nagorny um, and an artist that she's bringing in uh, for us to write for. Uh, Sarah was introduced to me over email by uh, by Lottie at TG Publishing. Thank you, Lottie. Uh Ah, uh, okay, that's nice. nice. Sarah is uh, is is amazing. Absolutely incredible woman. Uh, platinum selling songwriter. She brought in an artist, um, young up and coming artist in the New York scene called CK, who was brilliant to work with. We sat and worked for about uh, two hours just working without music. So just working the melody without chords. Well, it was another, like a simple word for impatience. Like, I can feel, like... Hesitance. Hesitant, I like that. Yeah? I feel your hesitation. Feel your hesitation. Don't want you to find reasons not to. You don't want to come out of it. You know, an experience like this to be just short term results, just a few songs or whatever. It's about setting up things for the long term as well. That's one of the reasons why I'm here. So, yeah, all in all, a good day. I'm knackered now, but all good. I feel like I'm in New York at a really good time. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of artists cutting. There's a lot of good writers that are in town at the minute. And I feel very lucky to be here having a good time. One of the many things I want to achieve in this city on this trip, right, is that is to set up a long term workforce creative development scheme whereby I'm working with people that can up the number of volume of tracks that I make in a year. I, I hit out about 15, 16 songs a year and I want to up it to about 45, 50 a year. Now I'm off to meet uh, two of the guys that I worked with last night, so uh, J Max and uh, Nico Larson. There's no music tonight, we're just going to go and drink and enjoy ourselves. So uh, yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow morning. Okay, it is 8am Sunday morning. Today is a special day because I am going to tick something off my ultimate bucket list, right? Recognise that guy? You got it. I'm in Philadelphia and I'm going to run up the rocky steps. Wow, what a feeling. What a feeling. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm sad, I know. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I promised myself that I would do while I'm in uh, no, while I'm in Philadelphia is to have a traditional Philly cheesesteak. Found it. There you go. <laughs> Square. Uh, earlier on this morning I had a meeting uh, at Sony Columbia Records which was very exciting um, and that was about a, a pop group that I'm hopefully going to be producing. Uh, that went well, they, they think my sound is pioneering. Uh, today I'm going to be working uh, alongside Alex Morelli. Alex is somebody who's a, a music industry mogul, a producer, manager. He's talking me up with a, an artist he works with called jo Joseph James uh, who's a kind of pop rock singer. If I can make a clone of you, I'd see you all the time. Now, because we're in that lower octave there, it's going to sound pretty big when we get into the. Yeah. But if I can make a clone of you. Nice. Clone. See if you can make one note on you. Clone of you. Oh. But if I can make a clone of you. That's good. Well done, uh, Joe. Let's do another one, but I'm gonna compress it a little. Sing it a cappella. If I could make a clone of you, I'd see you all the time. I'd never feel alone like this. We wrote, a, I think, a fantastic song today. Wrote the whole thing, recorded the whole thing, all in uh, the studio just off Times Square, which is very exciting. Um, really nice studio. Met some lovely people. We had a meeting as well, also with. Um, an up-and-coming artist called Luke Jagger, which I think is going to be a name to watch. I just wanted to offer a few conclusions that I've come to. First of all, how lucky I am to be able to do what I do. I never, ever lose sight of that. And it's trips like this that truly remind me of, of, of how incredibly fortunate I am. Um, I've written some, I think, some really, really nice songs. Um, or co-written some very nice songs with some wonderful people. I want to say a massive thank you to, to the Agards, to John and Lottie Agard at TG Publishing in Denmark. It's an honour for me to be on their roster as a writer-producer. It's a funny time to be in this country because, you know, as we all know, they've got a new president and there's a, and there's a lot of unsettled feelings about that. Um, but uh, it's America. They'll get by. I can honestly say that I have given it everything that I've got inside of me these last few days. Absolutely everything. I'm shattered. I can't wait to see my wife. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> There she is! <laughs> Hello! Oh. <laughs> you look so nice! <laughs> okay, that's the end of the story. 